guys! Today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts, opinions, and feels on Winter by Marissa Meyer. This is the final book in the Lunar Chronicles series. The first being Cinder, the second being Scarlet, the third being Cress, and the final book being Winter. There's also a companion book called Ferris that follows the villain in this story called Lavana. And there's also a novella bind up called Stars Above that's actually coming out next year. So technically this series isn't finished because there is going to be a short story that takes place after Winter, which is super exciting. So we have that to look forward to. Each book within this series is a sci-fi fairy tale retelling. Cinder is based off of Cinderella. Scarlet is based off of Little Red Riding Hood. Cress is based off of Rapunzel. And Winter is based off of Snow White. I have reviews for each of the books within the series and I will link those down below. It's a fantastic series and have completed it. I can definitely recommend this series. It's just so entertaining and you can't help but fall in love with each and every one of the characters. And guys, Winter freaking made me like Scarlet and Wolf and I hated them up until this point. I started to like Scarlet and Cress, but I still didn't really like Wolf and Cress. But then I got to Winter. And I just, I love them. I love them. I don't know what happened. I don't know what changed, but I just, I enjoyed them within this book. The characters within this series just made me completely love this series so much. You could put these characters into any scenario and I would enjoy it because I love the characters so much. They band together and create this amazing team of train wrecks and I love them so much and I'm so sad to have this series come to a close because I'm gonna miss these characters so much. As a conclusion to this series, I really felt satisfied with this book. I really thought this book did a fantastic job of wrapping everything up. There were a few things that I felt were a bit too convenient and things that just kind of came together a little bit too smoothly. But for the most part, I was happy with this book. It was really bittersweet seeing the story come to a close and I would love to follow these characters on another adventure. I know that they were kind of dragged through this book and put through some damage within this book, but I would just love to follow them on more adventures. That's all I can say without spoiling Winter. If you have not picked up this series, I would highly recommend going and finding Cinder, trying it out, seeing if it's something that you might enjoy. I highly recommend it because I think that the characters are fantastic and it's just such an interesting world. There's a lot of politics within this story and that's something that I really enjoyed as well. So definitely check it out, see if it's something you're interested in, and read this series. And then once you've done that, come and join me and discuss Winter. I'm really not going to go into full detail about this book because I just didn't take very many notes to be perfectly honest because I was just fully invested in reading this book. I didn't want to have anything distracting me and I felt like taking notes was taking away from my overall enjoyment of the story so I really didn't take very many notes but I just want to talk about the character because I love them so much. I first want to talk about the convenience of this story though. That's something that I mentioned beforehand and I just kind of wanted to talk about that a little bit. I kind of felt like somebody from our squad should have died. I know that that sounds really morbid and that's not to say that I wanted the characters to die but it just felt like the realistic thing to happen. The stakes were so high. They were in this crazy battle and it just would have made sense for somebody within our crew to die. Obviously I didn't necessarily want anybody to die. I wanted everybody to get their happy ending and everybody did really get their happy ending. Yes, they were damaged. Yes, they were beaten up. But by the end of the story, everything was happy. They had their happy ending. That's the only thing that I just felt was kind of unrealistic from the story. Obviously, I am happy that everybody got their happy ending. But I do, at the same time, feel like somebody probably should have died. Ah. I guess the only person who didn't get their happy ending was Lavana. But um, bum I hope I don't get hate comments for that. But I just wanted to throw that unpopular opinion out there and see if anybody else agrees with me or disagreed. If you disagreed with me too, that's cool. I want to hear why you disagree with me. But I just felt like that is something that should have happened maybe. Something that I completely adored about this book, while it was still romance heavy, there was also a heavy emphasis on friendship within the story and I loved that so much. We have so many different friendships that form and develop throughout the story and I just, it just made me so happy. I just love seeing them all come together and connect and like work together. It was just so cool. We've got Kai and Thorne who start to form this really interesting bond together as Thorne is taking him back to his palace. Winter and Scar Scarlet have a friendship together because they're both going through some pretty terrible things. Cinder and Jason, Cress and Kai, Cress and Wolf, and just all of the friendships. I just love them all so much. I know that I'm missing like all of them, but those were just the ones that were on the top of my head. The relationship between Winter and Jason was the sweetest. I just, I love them so much together. That's just kind of how it is with every couple within this series. I love every couple, like even Scarlet and Wolf, and I hated Scarlet and Wolf in the second book. I don't know what happened. I don't know what changed with Scarlet and Wolf. I'll 
get to that in a little bit. Jason is just such a freaking boss when Lavana's like, yo, you gotta go murder your girl. He's like, ha, yeah, I'm gonna be smart and not murder my girl and make up this crazy awesome plan and it's gonna work and you're gonna fall for it, Lavana, because you're stupid. The way that he organized everything and thought out this crazy plan and risked everything for Winter just showed his dedication to her and his love for her. Now, Scarlet and Wolf, I'll talk about them now. I don't know what it was, but they just became more interesting to me within this story. And I don't know if that's because they kept being split apart within this book. And I really got to see them both work away from each other and like not depend on each other. And I think that that's kind of something that I didn't like about the relationship. It's been a while since I've read Scarlet, but I just remember them being so in love with each other right off the bat. And I didn't really like that. I didn't really like the insta love. And in this story, you see them break apart and have to kind of make these crazy decisions on their own. And they just go through so much throughout this book, specifically Wolf, when he lost his mother that was so sad, but his mom was so brave to be able to stand up for what she believed in, and I just, ah, that scene was awful, but at the same time, it was so powerful. Cress and Thorn. Let's talk about Cress and Thorn, who is by far my favorite couple. Even though their relationship was so frustrating, specifically in this book, mostly because Thorn is just a douchey potato. I don't know what I'm even saying, but he's a douchey potato. He just bothered me so much in this book. He was just so frustrating, and he just couldn't come to terms with how he felt, and he wasn't able to be honest with how he felt, and that was so frustrating, because he clearly had an interest in Crest, but he just had such a hard time, like, revealing that he had feelings for her. And I hated that scene when the Lunar manipulated him and had him come and kiss her and say he loved her. Like, that just drove me crazy. Even though we found out later that the Lunar had disguised herself as Cress, I still hated that scene. I just really didn't like that scene. It just added more frustration and tension in their relationship, and I didn't like it at all. But hey, they came together in the end, and that's all that really matters, and we got that Cress and Thorn kiss that we've been waiting on, and it was just so great. They got their happy ending, and I'm very happy that they came together. I would like another book solely focused on Cress and Thorn. I just think it would be great to go on an adventure with those two, and it would just be so much fun, especially because I just, I love them so much. I love both of their characters so much. I love their relationship, and I love them individually as people, and I want to follow another adventure with them. And guys, I have a new OTP. A new OTP formed within this book. Aiko and that guard guy, I don't know his name, but the guy that just kept giving her a hard time, I ship them. I think that they would go so well together. He always has these little remarks for Aiko, and Aiko doesn't take it. She serves it right back to him, full force, and I just loved it so much. Obviously, we'll never know if they end up together, unless it's mentioned in Stars Above, but I would just really like for them to get together. Aiko deserves a relationship. She's the only one that isn't in a relationship. Finally, we have Kai and Cinder, the two that started it all in Cinder. Ha oh. Oh, you see, I was so happy because I was like, oh my gosh, they're going to end up together. It's going to be great. And then we get to the end and realization starts to set in that they're both leaders of two different planets and that there's no way that they could really be together. They could be together, but it's going to be a heck of a long distance relationship. And I just, ah, ah. I know that they're going to figure it out, obviously, but like, we're not going to be able to see them figure it out. Like, we just kind of get left with this, oh, there's hope for them to be together at some point someday, but we don't get to see it. I mean, hopefully we'll get a little bit more closure in Stars Above. I know that we're getting an epilogue, so that'll be good, but I just wanted a little bit more from that ending. Just wanted a little bit more. So those are my thoughts, opinions, and feels on Winter by Marissa Meyer. I loved this book so much. It was very satisfying. Even though I had a few issues with it, I still really enjoyed this book. You guys should let me know down below what your favorite scene was from this book. I'd love to know. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you soon with a new video. Later. Ah, ah. Drinking that water, reviewing books. Hey, I was gonna turn that into a song, but it didn't work. Ah.